All right, my watch list for Thursday. But before I get into that, I just want to say, if I was a third base coach for the Royals with Bumgarner on the mound, I swear I would have waved that guy home. I would have waved him home at third. He might have been uh, he might have been beaten by 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 thirty feet, um, but I would have made him make that throw rather than have another batter come up and face Bumgarner. That would have been a cool way to try to tie it up um, on that error out in the outfield. But anyway, that's just me. Uh, I was screaming for that uh, for that guy to wave him home, but anyway, he held him up and uh, and it's over. All right, I'm in, I'm in a little bit in mourning here because uh, I've lived 12 years of my life in Kansas City, and um, really wanted them to win that. But anyway, um, all right, CYBR, one of the strongest stocks out there today, and I uh, really had a nice close. Not a lot of chart to go on um, because it's a newer issue, but it might uh, just push to new all-time highs tomorrow. And when it moves, it moves really well. So let's watch that one. Loco. Um, Interesting on an intraday. It had a nice kind of late day pop and then a little flag. So Loco might make another move. I did call this long today over 37. And in five minutes, we got an 85 cent move. So that was a nice little trade. It was one of the, I only took a few trades today because of FOMC day. And I was done, um, well, I don't know, probably by 11 o'clock in the morning, something like that. But uh, I do want to watch Loco again, um, see if we get some kind of upside push. That's another one that uh, might be ready to start making a move to all-time highs pretty soon. So I want to watch Loco, CLDX. Um, an inside day today after a nice breakout. I had said this probably needs to rest, but uh, now we have one day inside of um, the previous day's candle. So that one may be ready to do kind of another little one-day pause and go again. So I want to watch that one. TXT is uh, pretty interesting for a short to me up over 41 um, because that if you go to the weekly um, you have to go way back before it was up over that you have to go back to 2008 and then when you go back to the daily uh, this has come from 32 to you know within just really a couple weeks up to all recent highs you, generally if you're going to break out to any recent high you know over these June highs you're going to consolidate or pull back first after this kind of a move. So um, I want to watch that one for a potential short. U.S. Steel, the letter X, after the gap up. Um, you know, close near its lows, but I still want to watch that for a push up tomorrow. Might need another red day. We'll see, but it uh, doesn't cost me anything to have it on a chart. NQ, um, one reason I don't like this stock is because it's NQ. And if you've traded any length of time at all, you know this is just a, can I say pain in the ass in my video? I'm going to say it. it's a pain in the ass stock. Um, but after the gap up, you've got three red days. And, you know, and some support now, back down to some support. So, you know, what I'd like to see is maybe this trade sideways for a couple hours and then a push through the high of the day. We might get a nice trade. Otherwise, I probably won't mess with it if it doesn't meet that, uh, you know, those parameters. And then DGLY has had a nice move from 10 to over 15 over the course of a couple weeks. Ferguson, Missouri, uh, at any day now, could come back in the spotlight. Um, and I, for all I know, it was today. I haven't checked the news or anything. I've been busy watching baseball, but... Um, this one is is finding buyers lately so uh, and you're down a few days after this nice run so i really want to watch this one for a potential bounce play just looking at an intraday it's not that interesting here on a five day 15 minute chart um but it's consolidating here so i you know up over i don't know if you get to the mid 1470s something like that you might just push up through the two-day high and maybe maybe make a move back to 16. This one moves pretty nice when it moves, so I want to keep that one on watch. And it's a short list. Um, we had FOMC day to day, so there, you know, a lot of charts look the same. Uh, but we will, uh, as always, whether or not we trade anything off this list I just gave you, we will find stuff to trade on an intraday basis uh, in the chat room. All right, so I'm going to quit babbling, and we will talk to you tomorrow.